balcony looks right now um, It's not really giving because we're just trying a bunch of things But let's just see So we're gonna remodel our balcony together I kind of started it at my last apartment and then quit Because I wanted to move here anyways So let's just get started with everything So the bit of a tile situation I actually bought these tiles like for the other apartment And then they sold out and I couldn't find them Seriously, like I really tried finding like the same ones on Amazon, but they're just not available anymore. Okay, since the same tiles aren't being sold right now, I literally just try to get the same manufacturer's tiles in a different color and then try to like paint it up. We even went to Home Depot and did the whole thing, but. Well, I think it just depends. Do you want an ashy tone or do you want a warm? We didn't end up doing it, so. So we're gonna try doing like a checkered pattern first, see how I like that. I'm not sure if I will like it, but we'll see. So we literally have completely different ones. Okay, so I'll film this again tomorrow when it is a little brighter, but <laughs> look at the little boy. Um, this is how the balcony looks like for the first day of renovations. I feel like it's going pretty well. I just have a little rock spot here to cover up the um, not tiled part. We're just going to put in a day bed. That's why it's fine if we have that missing part because technically I didn't even want to put the tiles all the way up here because the bed is literally going to come all the way here but yeah we're just gonna have this on the side I kind of like chairs just facing like this yeah those are the vibes for the first day of balcony renovations Ollie Ollie you like it huh you like the grass huh don't pee in there baby I can't need a massage after this he said I messed up on all of them. <laughs> so he's redoing every single one. It's currently 10.43 p.m. Hey, this is child labor. The child in question is 29 years old. That looks a lot better, huh? Yeah. It actually looks, looks straight. Looks complete. Oh my god, Andy was working on the balcony since the morning. Before he went to work, yeah. <laughs> I'm taking my mom to Home Goods. I feel like moms definitely appreciate Home Goods more than boyfriends do. <laughs> but I just need to get a couple of things for the balcony and just, you know, accessorize up the place. Hey, Hi. buddy. Ali. Hi. <laughs> Are you excited for Home Goods? Yes. Oh, my love Home Goods. Yeah, I. I've had since I've had you. No, I'm scared as fuck, this is sad too But this embrace feel natural I wanna stay till past you Even if it means I gotta face the music I wanna hear the sound of being back This isn't fitting here, so I'm just gonna put it here for now. I don't have a plant for this yet, but I thought this would be super cute right here. <laughs> Look at this, this is so silly. So I did have an olive tree before, but it's no longer with us, so I just bought another one for here. Both. Oh. I'm here. <laughs> I 
like your dad. <laughs> I let you know. decided to build this at 9 a.m. on a Saturday so you guys can watch him build it collection for the time being I'm definitely trying to just be better about vlogging just more frequently on here so consider this the first of many returns um, I'm pleasantly surprised with how much of the balcony um, I've gotten done It really is not that big of a project if you think about it like the balcony is such a small space Ollie, you want to show them the balcony? Scooting out here we have a little mushroom friend, dwarf guy and they made this part super straight. We still need to get more rocks and cover the rest of the outside part just to like polish everything up. But I'm glad I have Andy because he's a lot more attention to details on these like stuff. Because when I was running, it was looking like an earthquake. And then here is our little day bed. We have our little seating area, a little olive tree I picked up from Trader Joe's and my herb garden and I want to insert like a little orange tree because I did hear you can grow orange trees on the balcony which will be really cool if they actually fruit um so we just got a bed that I will show you very soon but it is a dog bed because we couldn't find like a mattress pad that really goes over it and the dog bed really worked and it doesn't look like a dog bed Okay, so we're at Home Depot again. I'm gonna see if we could just buy all the garden supplies here so that we don't have to go to an actual nursery. So our options are gonna be an orange tree or an avocado tree, but I'm thinking I'm gonna get a dwarf orange tree. This is the dwarf sweet lemon. But there's even bigger orange trees on this side.
Okay, that's the bed that we put up. Um, I think it matches with the whole vibe and it pretty much fits. I really like the mint color with like the ruffle detail on this. I feel like it makes it look a little bit more Parisian. I also don't know why my lavender is drooping even though I just gave it water. But let's hope it's not too hard to keep alive. Our rosemary, our jalapeno, and look at this. There's already a fruit on here. We have some dill. Here are my two mints. I have peppermint, parsley, my basil. I've been eating so much. It's looking chopped up. Three flowers. My lavender, my other outdoor flower. Pretty fantastic. Years passed by with our goals intact. In tandem, we're dancing. Our balcony is pretty much done. the stones that Andy put up all across. Nice job, Andy. And these are supposed to have drainage holes, but I'm not sure why they're not being drained. So I think I have to take everything out and do it all again. Hey, Ollie, can you give me some space? Go on top of your bed. Pay me one of those French girls. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you.